Hello Libra, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading from August 11th to August 17th, 2020. Thank you to all my current subscribers. I'm very happy. I grow every day. If you haven't subscribed and you like my channel, it would really help me out if you do subscribe. And if you don't want your phone to beep, then don't hit the bell icon. And if you do want notifications when I upload videos, then do hit the bell icon. But I can tell you I upload two videos every day at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so that would help you make a decision if you like the bell icon noise. So thank you to everybody, like I said, for coming to my channel. And the comments are just getting awesome, and I'm just really happy. And somebody asked if I do readings actually today, and I'm getting close. I have to upgrade some of my equipment um, to be more adaptable. It's kind of old, so as soon as I do that and figure out how that works, then I will be definitely doing readings. And I appreciate it that somebody asked. That'll probably push me a little faster to figure that out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start with the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. And I do shuffle all the cards before I turn the camera on, but I give them one more and cut the deck on the camera. <coughs> And I'm a pretty fast reader, too. I don't like repetition. I'm not one that will keep talking about a card very long. That drives me cuckoo. <laughs> I just don't have patience. My brain moves really fast, is all I can say. So there's people who like it, but I understand if not everyone does. So the Whispers of the Ocean, the first one is 25, Breakthrough to New Dimensions. A new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovation, innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness. And this is Miglu and Miglu Jr. So this is something coming to the surface that is going to make you powerful, Libra. It's going to make you light up. Maybe a hidden talent you didn't know you had. A gift you just realized that, wow, I'm good at something. A job, something like that. So eight, keeping it in check. Pay attention to what is going on around you. You might be moving into something too quickly or miss, missing some important details. So this talks about you looking deep for something. And I feel like what you're looking for is more to the surface. You're looking down here. So what you're looking for is more obvious. You're looking too hard for it. But pay attention to signs. So, you know, if you see a song comes on the radio and you're really sad, and you're questioning yourself, thinking, was there a reason behind the song? Yes. I believe in destiny. Things happen the way they're supposed to. It's sad, but there's yin and yang. We need to light with the dark. And um, the faster you learn your lessons and balance everything out, the happier we will all be. But it's just harder for some people. I totally understand. So what I'm getting at is just... When you hear, when you see signs that you question if they're for you, they are for you. And don't question them is what I feel. The universe wishes you wouldn't. So then we have 22, which is a double number. So take note. This is a Hawaiian monk seal. That's a sea otter, and that's Migaloo Jr., the whale. So your answers are being given to you. Quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. The Hawaiian monk seal are, I think, an endangered species. There's not very many of them left, but they're very playful. This talks about happiness, but there's something that is limiting you from the happiness. There's something you're not hearing correctly. I would suggest you Google 22 and see what the vibration is, and start, for those of you, it's really good for you to learn about the vibrations and numbers and start there. It's so... It's so, what's the word, prehistoric in our design to everything revolves around numbers. So, um, yeah, this is happiness coming to you. Take note. Listen to answers. You had two cards, keeping it in check, and this, that the answers are coming to you. The universe is trying to connect to you. I feel like this must mean some of you are going to have some sort of breakthrough where we are in a... Some people are going through an incension right now where the portal will open up and if you get in vibration aligned with your soul, some people are going to upgrade their vibration. And maybe a lot of you Libras are going to do that because this is pretty serious. I mean, they are telling you 
you're breaking through. So maybe some of you broke through spiritually, like you're at a higher level now than you were before. So now I'm going to move to the Chakra Wisdom deck. And you can Google and Sensei on and learn about it too. There's so much to learn. So the Tower. This has not came out for a while, Libra. The Tower means that something has to fall apart because it's not for your highest good. And I know a lot of people don't like it. I hope this doesn't shut off. It looks like it might. So the Tower usually means that something's going to fall apart. King of Coins would be somebody coming towards you that could bring you security. You're walking away from something before it's quite done because you're, you're done. Then you have seven of coins. So you're planning and organizing your next step. So seeking is somebody you go to for advice or somebody just watching you. Eight of fire is somebody blaming somebody else. Somebody getting blamed for something they did not do. C. Tom. C. Tom is a charmer. Somebody who comes in, a player. He doesn't stay. So, 10 of C is happiness. So, I don't know if you thought you were going to have happiness with a charmer, a player, is what I'm kind of picking up. 2 of fire is you trying to make a decision about something. You're not sure how to handle something. 5 of C would be your pride being hurt. Your ego and your pride has been hurt over a player, I feel. So I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E. Free falling. This would mean change. You're, you're open to change. You're ready. Talk and smack. This would be people talking about you and you're moving into the light. You Just look at it this way. If people are talking smack about you, you know who it is now and you can move away from that energy. You're going to the sunshine. The F word, this is forgiveness. You need to forgive somebody because it's holding you back. And look at you have a lot of the F. Free falling, talking smack, the F word. So you're going a new direction. Somebody's talking smack probably about the choices you're making. You need to forgive them to make yourself healthy to move forward. GPS, you're where you're supposed to be. Totally where you're supposed to be. Very beautiful. Six. So now I'm going to go to the chakra or the Soul's Journey lesson cards. Like I said, it's going to shut off. I'm trying to hurry because I'll have to do it all over. Death. Something is ending. I'm learning that endings are merely beginning. Something's ending. Something's ending. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. If you're going to the sunshine. Just have patience. Have patience. So then I'm going to do the... Angel and Ancestor, you have Lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. This is the five elements of life. This is grounding yourself. This is success coming to you. Could be fertility. And the next one is Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. This is the Archangel Raphael protecting you. So some of you must need the healing rays of Archangel. Raphael, and you have the lady here, so I do see a lot of green, a lot of healing in your heart chakra. The apples are abundance and clarity. So, wow, Libra, a lot of healing, very powerful. I hope you feel it. I hope you feel protected. So pay attention to the signs because they're there. Whatever you're going through right now must be pretty powerful. Because look what, I mean, these two cards are really, really powerful. Just beautiful for you. Beautiful. Very good. So let me see if I could find those real fast. Um, lady especially. Like I said, I apologize for the battery. Reap what you have sown. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. The lady known as the empress in the traditional tarot is the representation of the goddess in her most fertile form. She is an abundant, beautiful, and creative being. She is closely connected to nature because it is her child. Fertility, growth, and abundance are all imminent when the lady arrives in your life. All the seeds you have planted are coming to life and there are plenty more rewards to come. In a material sense, this card can represent financial security and comfort. It shows that there will be more than enough to go around. An Earth Guardian Raphael, like I said, uh, er, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so let me see. Um, 
It just says for you, important for you to ground yourself. So then consider what to do. It's important to plant seeds that are going to grow into something beautiful rather than turn into a weed you have to deal with. The earth guardian represents the angels of earth. They are the protectors of the land, connect you to your mission. And this is not the H Archangel Raphael. I apologize for that. This is the Earth Guardian that's part angel, part elemental, who is non-binary, showing that they are a divine being without a human gender. So that may um, it support the evolution of the planet. The staff or the dream catcher shows they have the capacity to help you ground your dreams in reality. The green is healing, though. Beautiful. All right, so I hope that helps you. I guess I could pull fantasy cat cards real fast. Seems so. It has not shut off yet. That is so amazing. I'm shocked it hasn't. I tried to hurry and pull the important cards. So the first one that comes up for you is Summer, the wild energy of joy. So this is my intimacy card. Could also mean fertility for some of you, Libras. And then the next one is Spring. The feed, the, 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 the fresh yearning of the morning. And this also is fertility because spring is, you know, when all the animals are making babies and stuff. So a lot of fertility in this reading, Libras. The lady could represent fertility. Uh, there was other cards that could too. I can't remember. I think I said it though. So, wow, some of you might be busy <laughs> in nine months or a little before then. All right, so thank you so much. Sorry to hurry through your reading, Libra, but I'd hate to cut them off because I never know if the cards are going to show up identical again the same way they fell out the first time. And I like that when they, I don't have to see if they do. All right, thank you so much, Libra, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Libra.